Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to go through this basic example of visualizing data. Um, I find this kind of tool useful if I'm using sensors or something else from a Teensy or an Arduino. And then I just want to make sure that the kind of data that I'm getting is correct. Maybe the ranges are correct or the amount of noise is what I'd expect to see for that particular application. And so I've always found myself uh, sort of making tools that are similar to this and then deleting them afterwards. And I thought may, maybe why not just have one patch that can do it and save that off. So that's why I wanted to just show this off quickly. Okay, so I've got the patch here and I've got 16 channels worth of data. Now each channel here um, is represented on this multi slider and also over here on the uh, point scrolling. Now what this data is, is just some MIDI pitch bend data across all 16 channels coming in on some device that I can choose up here. And so I can do things like turn peaks on and off, clear those peaks, turn peaks off again if I want to, and we can obviously see all those changes on the right hand side here as well. Now what's kind of cool is that I can change the sampling interval at which the data is being sent to the scrolling point down here. And then I can also record incoming data to a text file. So I just hit uh, record to on down here and then just move these sliders around, turn record to off, and then we can see that as a text file. So it's pretty much each row is one sample point across all 16 channels, and then each channel is separated by a tab. And so, for example, um, we can also record just, let's say, the first four channels if we wanted to, or just the first channel, or whatever. And so if I open up live, and I'll just bring up a session that I've got that's a testing session. And using that session, I can then send some pitch bend data out of this session across into my max patch. And up here, I've just chosen the device as that virtual bus that's coming out of live down here. And I'm going to record just the first four uh, channels of data here. Let's clear off the... Uh, text one down here. So I can hit play in my session and you can see that's being represented over here on the first four channels. And then I can turn record to on and I'll just uh, have a very short sampling interval which gives us lots of data to work with. Now that we've got some data, I can turn record to off. We can have a look at that text file there. And you can see there's about 20,000 points. We can save that off as a text file. And then we can open that up with Excel. see each data point is just an individual cell, each sample time is one row, and each channel is a column. And then we can do things like make a chart of that data. This. And sort of get a feel for where some of the issues might be um, with incoming data. So obviously to do this, we need to have the Arduino sending the correct data. And here's a quick example. 
Probably the most important thing to take away from this example is just that the value range is 0 to 16383 and it's constrained to that range and that's just being sent as a pitch bend message. So pretty basic stuff as usual. Anyway, just thought I'd share.